Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about Azure Traffic Manager. So Azure Traffic Manager is one of the load balancing technique which has provided by the Azure. There are other load balancing technique also which are available, namely application gateway, front door, load balancer. I mentioned the recommended traffic for various type of load balancing technique. You can just pause this video and just go through this slide. So what is a traffic manager? A traffic manager is a DNS based traffic load balancer that enable you to distribute traffic optimally to service across global Azure regions while providing high availability and responsiveness. So in simple terms, a traffic manager is going to divide your load between the various applications which you have just created and how it is going to do. There are various routing methods which are available to divide the particular load. So the routing methods in the traffic manager are priority routing, weighted routing, performance routing, geographic routing, multi-value and subnet routing. In priority routing, what will happen? You will, let's just say you have a two application. One will act as a primary, another will be acting as a secondary, the backup. All your load, all your traffic will go to the primary application. In case of weighted routing, what will happen? Let's, let's just say you have a two application. You are going to assign some amount of weightage to each of the application. That much amount of traffic will go to the particular application. So that is a weighted routing. In case of performance routing, if you have two application, you will be redirected or the load will be redirected to the nearest location. That is a performance routing. In case of geographic routing, what will happen? Let's just say you will assign certain countries to one application and another set of countries to another application. So if a user is trying from a particular location, and you have already assigned the location to one of the application, always the traffic will go to the particular application, not to another application. That is a geographic routing. In case of multi-value routing, if you have IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, then we have to select the multi-value as in the routing method. And whenever the request is received for this profile, all the healthy endpoints will be returned. And the last one is the subnet routing. So what is subnet routing is basically certain set of IP addresses or certain set of designated endpoints, we will be assigning it to one application and always the traffic from those IP addresses will go to the particular application. That is a subnet routing. So what is basically we are going to do? We are going to create a one traffic manager and a two web application. We are going to assign those two web application to the traffic manager. And then we are going to use the various routing methods, which I just showed you in the previous slide. And whenever any client is trying to access the the application through the traffic manager based upon the routing method, it will be redirected either to application one or application two. So let's just go and see directly how this will work. I'm into Azure portal. So first what we are going to do, we are going to create the web application for that. I'll select this app services. Then I'll click on create. And we have to fill some information. First is the resource group. I'll click on create new. I'll say Rohit traffic manager group, click OK and name of the app, app 1A runtime stack .NET 6 region. I'll select, I'll keep central US and other information. Same click on review plus create. Then click on create again. It will take a moment to create your first application. Since it is creating the application one, what we will do, we will go and create the another application. Click on app services, click on create. Again, you need to select the resource group and this time I'll say app two. Runtime stack .NET 6 region. I'll select close to my location, which is in India. Let's just say central India and click on review plus create. and then click on create. So the deployment is in progress and it will take a moment to complete that. So the resource is created. Let me click on go to resource and in the overview, I'll click on browse. So basically this is a default page which has been provided by the Azure so that we are able to load. And there is no way if we are going to use the same page in traffic manager. So it does not tell to which site it is redirected us for that. What I will do, I'll go back to the application type kudu here. 
and in the advanced tool click on go so in the kudu services under the diva console click on powershell click on site click on www root and this is the page by default which it has loaded click on edit click on add it search for developers and just say app service to developers in india save it go to your app page again refresh that app service to developers in india cool so we are good for application 2 now we will do the same change for the application 1 type kudu here click on advanced tool click on go under the debug console click on partial click on site click on www root and click on edit again search for developers say app one developers in central us cool save it go to your application close this go to overview and browse cool so we are good here so this application is redirected us to app service one which is in central us bingo now next we have to create a traffic manager for that i'll go to the azure click on home and in the search bar type traffic then select the traffic manager profiles click on create and here we have to give some cool name so i'll say traffic manager rohit and here it is showing the routing method the default one is performance and there are other routing methods which are also available weighted priority geographic multi value subnet so if you want you can just select any of these routing methods for now we will just go with the performance and it has also selected the subscription resource group we have to select and i am going to select the rohit then click on create again it will take a moment to create the traffic manager so the traffic manager is created let me click on the notification go to resource and this is the traffic manager profile which we have just created now what we have to do we have to associate the web applications with this traffic manager and how we will be doing that for that we have to click on the send points and click on add and here we have to fill again some information so the first application will act as a point 1 so i'll name it as a point 1 and resource type is app service resources first application click on add so the first resource is created let me click on add and we'll add the another point resource type is again app services resource is the second application click on add so both the points are created now if you want to see which routing method you have selected for that go to configuration and we have selected the performance one and we are good so the only one modification which i want is i want to select the https here all the other change all the other things are good just click on save and click on overview copy this dns name go to search bar enter that cool so i'm being redirected to the india location because right now i'm in into india cool so we are good here now one thing which i want to show if let's say any user who is not in india or let's say any user who is in the us region if he if the particular user is redirected to that region for that what i have so i have a virtual machine which is in the east us2 region and what i'll do i just logged in to that machine i'm going to paste this url over there and just press enter and see cool 
so i am right now redirected to the central us region because this is nearest to this particular machine cool so this is how the performance routing works now next we will see the different routing for that i'll go back to the azure and click on configuration and in the routing method i'll select the weighted routing and click on save and then go to overview since the weight here is 11 so what it will do randomly it will redirect us to either 2.1 or 2.2 for that what i will do i'll open the incognito window and just paste this url and just see where it is redirecting us okay so right now i am into india and but it has redirected me to central us region let me refresh it again or what i'll do i'll open another browser and see if it still redirects me to central us or it redirects me to the india region and let me bring this browser here press the u enter the url ah it is redirecting me still to the us region close this i'll close this also since we know point 1 is the us i'll modify it to wait is as 2 save basically you can add 1 to 1000 for the weight and let me go back or ha huh, cool so it has redirected us now to india so it was just taking some time to refresh it once that is done now we are being redirected to india region cool so we are good here now next we will see the priority i'll close this i'll go to configuration again and for the routing method i'll select priority click on save we close all other windows go back to overview again copy this url open the new tab paste it cool so in case of priority it has redirected me to central us if i go back the priority of point 1 is highest than the point 2 so let me just revert it i'll change the priority to two is already there let me three save it and it will close the tab here changes are saved let me just enter that url should redirect me to it should redirect me to the india but it has redirected to central us what i will do sometimes it cache that cool so it has redirected me to the india this time i have just re reverted the priorities cool so we are good here now next we will see that geographic routing i'll close this page close this also and for that i'll need to go to the configuration and if i select the geographic and try to save here it will throw an error basically what it says is you have to unmatch the endpoints and for that i'll go to the endpoints click okay i have to delete these endpoints delete delete this also now go to your configuration change the routing to the geography click save and again go to endpoints click add and i'll say point 1 app service target resource type first app now i told you in case of geographic routing we have to select the region and associate those region with this application and what i'm going to do i'll select the regional grouping let's say asia all the users who are part of asia should be redirected to the central us click add and click on add again to add the another point i'll say point 2 click on app service click the second application now you already selected that asia i want all the world let's just say apart from asia all the other 
countries should be redirected to the India. Click on add. So point two is also created. Just refresh it. Let me go to overview. Copy this. Open the incognito window. I am in India. I should be redirected to Central US. Cool. Bingo. We are good here. So I'll I am redirected to Central US. Now let it let me go to the machine and close this. Let me see if it redirects me to the India region or not. Bingo. We are good. I try to open from the virtual machine. It has redirected me to the India region. Cool. So we are good again with the geography. So this is how we can route the traffic in case of Azure Traffic Manager by using the various sorting methods which are available, which are provided by them. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.